everyone! Welcome back to Karen Puzzles. Today I am taking on the Oleo 10. Is that what it's called? Yes, Oleo 10, but it's a level 8, which is confusing. If you remember, last year I did three kind of brain teaser puzzles. There was the Jigsaw Puzzle 19, which was only corner pieces. There was the Ice Puzzle 9, which was very tricky. And there was the level 10 jigsaw puzzle that honestly was not that hard for me. All of those videos will be linked down below, but today I am taking on the new one from that same designer. His name is Yu Asaka, and recently he came out with this puzzle and figured I'd take a crack at it. Obviously, uh, there will be spoilers in this video because there's only gonna be one correct solution. So if you want to try it for yourself, you can head down to the description to buy one and then come back after you've solved it and watch me solve it. Also, I wanted to let you know that I am now part of the affiliate program with Puzzle Master, which is where these types of puzzles are sold. So if you do want to get one, please use the links down in the description because then I'll, you know, get something from it. All right, I think that's enough talking. I think, I think we need to get to the puzzle. I'm nervous. <laughs> what if it's really hard? Remember the Ice Puzzle 9? That one was really hard. All right, it's time to open it up and see what we've got. So just like the puzzles I did last year, this one comes with a plastic tray and this is what we have to try to fit everything into. And here are all of the pieces that we have to work with. All right, so we've got four of these like rectangular pieces and you can see that they have like um, circles carved out and these like rounded rectangles carved out. So it looks like these two are essentially the same. The rounded rectangles are slightly different sizes. And then these two have two circles and then again, two rounded rectangles. And these seem to fit perfectly in here vertically. So I assume I'll have to rearrange these in some way because we also have to get six of these red circles to fit. I assume that when you line up these circles that it fits, yep, it fits right in there, but obviously it's not gonna be that easy. I'm definitely gonna have to be thinking outside the box with this one. So yeah, I guess, I guess I need to get started. So I'm getting my timer ready. And before I start the timer, um, one comment that I got a lot on my previous videos was that when I'm comparing my time to Chris Ramsey, he does not stop the timer when he talks to the camera, and I was doing that. It's totally fair, totally valid. So this time, I'm just gonna let the timer run, and hopefully I won't have too many brilliant insights because that'll just run out my time. All right, slight change of plans. I actually decided it was easier to see the puzzle on a white background rather than a black background, so... Yeah, for real now. Now I'm gonna get started. And start. All right, no going back now. So the first thing I wanna do is just put these in in a few different configurations, see how they line up. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be that simple, but I feel like you just kind of have to get a feel for what the different shapes of the pieces are. So you can see that when I just kind of randomly put them in, I guess this one lines up here and nothing else lines up. These two is what's confusing me a little because you would think they would line up like that, but if you do that, it does not fit in the tray. So the next thought I had is what if you turn them this way? Um, it looks like you can't have one vertical and one horizontal because that does not fit. But what if we just, you know, put these in horizontally that that is not ever going to fit. Okay, that's not gonna work. So it looks like they definitely have to be in vertically. So I guess that means you're basically just, you know, finding different ways to arrange these four pieces so that enough of, the, enough of them line up so that um, the red dots can fit in. So really there aren't that many possibilities because you're only arranging four pieces in different ways, like the red dots so far, it seems like don't really have a trick to them. They just kind of have to fit 
where these pieces line up. And actually, I never showed, where is it? Oh my God, it's literally like static electricity clung to the back of the tray, but I never even showed the, um, you know, the page with all the information. So there goes my time as I go through this, but you can see that it is a level eight. So theoretically it shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, it's not a level 10. The one clue that they give you is six circles, not enough round holes. So that's not much of a clue. Thanks for that help, you, you Asaka. But all right, let me, let me get back to it. So you can see with these three here, I've actually managed to fit, um, three of them and then I put that one in and now I've got four in place, but I still have two more circles to go. So obviously that's not correct. This one is particularly large. So I wonder, can you fit two circles in? Oh my God, you can fit two circles in there. <gasps> Check that out. Okay, and then one more up here. What if I solve it in like less than five minutes? What if? Okay, and then what if we flip this one around? We can fit one there. And then, and then we have one. Okay, we've already got five. We only need six. We only need one more. Oh my God. Oh my God. So much adrenaline. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so that's interesting. Look at that. You have two that seem to not line up, but the circle just happens to fit right in there. So that seems like the type of tricky little trick that Yuasaka likes. So I like that. I might leave those two in place and see what else I can work around them. Okay, so keeping in mind that I want these two to fit together like that. What if we flip it here? That's not gonna work. Okay, what if we flip it here? That's not gonna work. What if we flip it here? That's also not gonna work. Because if I can get this to line up with one of these, then I've done it, then I'm done. And we're like six minutes in. <laughs> oh my gosh, this really plays with your like spatial reasoning, <laughs> trying to remember like which sides I want to stay together and then trying to match up other sides. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna take out all of the circles because I can remember that five of them fit in here. And so this way, it just gives me a little more flex flexibility to, you know, try these out in all different configurations. I feel like if we didn't even use these two and these two, that is another tricky thing that, you know, you, you would expect to use those if you're trying to place six circles. So I'm, I'm okay with not using those, but I mean, <laughs> if I am not using those, there are only so many different ways that these can fit together and it does not seem like these are gonna line up. That's not gonna work. Scratch that. <laughs> Ooh, okay, if I flipped just that one, I can still fit two in here. So maybe, maybe now something will line up. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Eight minutes in and I'm already like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm on the right track. You know, these all fit in here beautifully. All we need is one more, like, Unless you were supposed to find this and this is the obvious solution and I'm like totally off, that's also a possibility. But I feel like there has to be some way to get some of these six half circles to line up. I just have not found it yet. That's an interesting shape. If I flip this one, you end up with almost like an apostrophe mark but then we're losing a lot in here, so I don't think that's gonna be right. Wait, oh my God, did I just never try that possibility? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, where are we? Oh my God, what's happening? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, these two were supposed to go together. Oh, I see what I did. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought I had solved it, but I don't think we're quite there yet. All 
right, I found another way to get five pieces in here. All right, I'll give it to you, Asaka. This is another very tricky one. <laughs> We're at 12 minutes right now, and I have found a lot of five circle configurations. I'm not quite at six yet. When I was getting ready to film, I was so confident. I was like, you know, I'll just think outside the box. It'll be fine. Now that I have a feel for his puzzles, I'll be fine. And <laughs> now I'm sitting here 13 minutes later being like, I literally have no idea. So something else that I was thinking about is, I mean, what if these, what if these fit together so almost like Tetris blocks? Would you have space to get four of them in horizontally? Cause that would be a fun little tricky, tricky trick. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, I think I'm onto something. I think there has to be a way to rearrange these so that some of these half circles line up. Like this can't be a coincidence. Oh my God. Okay, let me take out the circles again because to be honest, like the circles kind of get in the way while you're working. Ooh, okay, wait, what if, what if I do use those two half circles? And then what if, oh my God, what if this one, it's not quite fitting. I think these two might be a little mixed up. What if these two, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I think I did it. Wait, let me hurry and get the pieces in so I can stop the time. You guys, 15 minutes and 49 seconds. I did it. That was so fun. Literally all I had to do was remind myself to think outside the box and then, you know, it all just fell into place. All right, as usual, I need to go see what uh, Chris Ramsey's time was. Assuming he's done this puzzle, I actually don't even know if he's done this puzzle. And never mind, I don't think he has done this puzzle yet. So <laughs> this time, Chris Ramsey can try to beat my time. All right, so here is the close up of the solution. That's actually really pretty. I mean, I don't know how he designed this so that they could also all fit vertically. Like that's really tricky. It, it looks beautiful when it's done. If you wanna get this for yourself, um, as I said earlier, I'll have the link right down below. Uh, maybe, you know, now that you know the solution, you could give it as a gift to someone and then watch them struggle over it, knowing that you know <laughs> what they need to do. I mean, literally, is there anything more fun than watching someone struggle with a puzzle that you already know the answer to? So I wanna thank Puzzle Master for sending me this puzzle. And they actually also sent me a few other kind of tricky little tricky <laughs> jigsaw puzzle type of brain teasers. So I'll be getting to those throughout the year. If you wanna get this or any other puzzle from Puzzle Master, please use my affiliate link right down below. And your question for the comments, um, I don't know, did you think of the answer before I did? <laughs> what did you think? Your code word for the comments. So we need a little code word. Although this is not gonna be that long of a video, so. Hopefully most people watch most of it. Um, your code word for the comments will be a brain teaser. All right, well, now I have plenty of time in the day to get to even more puzzles. That was a nice little quick one. Happy puzzling. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.